Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. In this video, we are going to create AI card for our game. So, uh, this was also demanding uh, demanded uh, tutorial and uh, uh, for traffic system, definitely we can create uh, cars uh, one by one and we can simulate that cars in our environment. Also, we can use some traffic system as well for creating our cars but uh, in this video i will show you that we can how we can create ai cars in uh, rcc car controller so for creating uh, ai cars i just have imported a package which is tuned vehicle package and this is very nice package because it has very low poly cars uh, models and you can choose these car models uh, for your games so here you can see that uh, let's let's create a car so for example this police car let's add it here and uh, first thing you have to see that the car should have the front z axis like this and also for tires the tires should be towards uh, the z axis should be towards front okay so it's very important so after adding car here car bd we i will just uh, rename this to uh, i will first uh, okay i will not open the prefab i will just rename it to police car ai okay i will not use the name of enemy because it's not enemy it's ai only so after adding car we will go to tools bone, bone cracker games and similarly as we have created rcc controller for other cars we will create add a main controller to vehicle and then you can see that we have certain properties in the wheels we will select the wheels and then we will extend the car and we will select the wheels here you can see we have front left wheel add it front right front uh, rear left rear right and then we will click on create wheel colliders and now wheel colliders are created we also got a message of uh, setting up the composition so let's select the composition and uh, move it little bit lower okay so that's fine we have successfully created the car with rcc also we will set up the other things like uh, we have this uh, tires uh, also i think we don't getting any error for box colliders so it this ca car already contains some collider i think so although it uh, don't have collider yeah we have collider on this mesh collider okay and definitely it will create problem because it's not convex so let's see let's check it first then we will check it uh, then we will check the setting later on so now here you can see we have uh, steering and these settings will be remain the same and uh, for lighting we can create light so let's create headlight and brake light and nothing else so i will just create a headlight here we can place it the at the right position and then we can duplicate it control d for duplicate and then again we will select the car and we will select lights and we will add some brake lights as well so for brake light i will just bring the brake light at the right position control d to duplicate and that's it our car is almost ready only the one thing last thing we need sounds so let's select the sound section and we can get uh, two source sound we can engine sound low and uh, we can just add low and we have some buggy and ec low e36 low is fine i think and e36 high and also for the idle 
we will just uh, select idle and we will select the start started sound which will be Indian start that is it our car is ready. So, the next thing we have to add is AI controller to the car. So, for AI controller we will select our car and we will go to tools, bone cracker games, realistic car controller and then AI controller and we will add AI controller to vehicle. So, now our AI controller is added, but we have a uh, message here that uh, we do not have any AI waypoints container. So, let us add a waypoint container here. So, our car is here. So, that is fine, it is ok. We can create some a waypoint. So, for creating waypoint, first thing we have to bake our environment for navigation mesh. Okay. So, you have to select the environment, then you will make it static. Okay. You have to check this static option, then you will go to window, AI, navigation and then you have to click on uh, select this bake option and after bake option, you have to click on bake. I already have baked the environment, you can see the blue areas. So, what we can do, we can directly create our waypoints. So, here uh, for creating waypoints, what we can do, we can go to tools, bone cracker games and then we can create uh, go to AI controller and add waypoint container to the game. So, when we will click or uh, we will select the waypoint container, now we can press shift and click you do not have to duplicate the waypoint containers, we can only create waypoint containers with shift click, okay, shift click. So, we are creating this type of area. So, let us move further and my middle mouse button is not working properly. Anyhow, here and then here here and I am creating some waypoints very near because we need a uh, uh, we need some better result. So, let us move here. Here, here, here and then we can move it sorry here and here ok. So, this is our waypoint and uh, now what we will do we will select the police car and we will add waypoint to this waypoint container ok. So, now one more thing that we can limit the cars uh, on this waypoint circuit. So, select the waypoint circuit and for traffic we need a uh, very low speed for our police car. So, here you can see sorry on police car if we go to AI controller you can see we have option of limit speed. So, let us uh, add it and uh, let us make it uh, maybe 25. So, we want to keep it between 25. So, also, you can play with these uh, options ray distance, ray angle, etcetera, if you want, and uh, that is mm, it. So, we have successfully created a AI car and a waypoint container. So, let us test it out. So, if we play the game, and uh, unfortunately, we cannot see in game view because it is at a different place. So, we will go to scene view and we will check our AI car. So, we have some error here you can see we have non convex error which I was explaining you uh, first. So, what we can do we will select the police car and uh, we will extend it we will select the police car we will make mesh collider convex. Okay. After that, we will go to prefabs and inside enemy cars, I will just drag drop this police car AI and then I will just delete it here. Again, I will place it in environment and then we will play it. Hopefully, we will not face any error. Let us see. 
what will happen so now we don't have any error we can click on scene and here you can see our police car is moving throughout the waypoints here you can see very nice movement and uh, you can see that's absolutely fine also i think the angle uh, we can change the angles little bit regast angles to make it more smoother uh, but i am happy with the result and you can see that we have successfully added our ai car from some point it go outward so if we select the car and if we move here so in the playable mode we have ray angles so let's make it a uh, little bit small maybe so let's make it five so let's see the accuracy so now i think uh, there is no difference between older and newer things so ray distance if we make it to one so let's see i think uh, yeah this will create a more smooth ui and it will follow the waypoints in a better way i think so but i think we don't have any difference anyhow we have successfully added a ar car and uh, waypoint as well you can use this system to create ai cars and uh, also the waypoint containers and you can simulate more cars as well to the certain areas and uh, i will not do that i will use some traffic uh, uh, tool for simulating the traffic system also there was a query about traffic system that uh, one student was asking about the uh, about creating traffic system by own so definitely we will do that but uh, in some other specific course of traffic system because it will be a little bit complicated for creating uh, creating a traffic system is not very easy so we will use some tool here for traffic and then in separate course we will explain that how we can generate our own traffic system that's it for this system let's meet in next video allah hafiz